So this is a case of cryptogenic organizing pneumonia, or as we used to call it way back in the day, BOOP, which uh, stands for bronchiolitis obliterans organizing pneumonia. Um, we prefer the, the new name, COP, uh, for this entity now. But in low power, what you can see is pretty normal lung architecture. So when you're looking at it, you see nice alveolar spaces. Uh, they're not thickened and fibrotic like we saw in usual interstitial pneumonia, uh, and they're pretty open. Now in a few areas, uh, such as this upper left corner, and we'll go down and we'll take a look at that, you can see that you know it is a little bit pinker. However, that's not necessarily due to fibrosis, um, but actually due to the presence of numerous uh, alveolar macrophages kind of filling the alveolar spaces, but you'll still see that the alveolar walls are only a couple to three cells thick. Uh, and they can still, you know, exchange oxygen quite readily. Uh, one of the defining features of this disease is its lack of fibrosis. However, what you will notice in it, uh, we do say that it is organizing, and that is because it does have these foci of young fibroblasts. And these are very similar to those fibroblastic foci that we saw in usual type interstitial pneumonia. Um, these balls of fibroblasts can be seen anywhere within the lung parenchyma involving the alveoli as you can see here kind of in the alveolar walls uh, all the way to the to the bronchioles and that's why it used to be called boop or bronchiolitis obliterans because these fibroblastic foci are often seen uh, obliterating the small bronchioles these patients actually do pretty well and with uh, steroid use and, and monitoring they can actually kind of get over this disease uh, it takes a while, about six months for the normal patient, uh, but typically they will do all right. So this is a case of cryptogenic organizing pneumonia.